So today I'm looking at the uh, foam bitumen system on a W2000 stabiliser. The uh, operator say it wasn't working in the automatic mode, so today I am having a look at it. And this is just a video as to the steps I've taken to get to where I am. So on this unit, now there you've got your Pro Mass 83 and the mammometer meter above it tells you the bitumen flow. So we've got that powered up. I've got my foam bitumen pipe, which is the closest to the cabin, connected to an IBC full of kerosene. The second green hose goes to a header tank underneath the cabin. And if that's not there, we use the side of the spray bar and we just connect a, uh, a cam lock and run the hose so we've got this to make it a little bit easier. We've got a thousand litres in there just to circulate through the system. These things are a real pig to uh, prime up so I've had to use an air hose to try and prime it up. Um, now what we've got here, if we go to the main screen, we can cycle through. And so what I've done is, even though the machine is up in the air at the moment, I've disconnected the drum angle sensor, just so that I could try and get a depth close to the maximum, the maximum being uh, 30 centimetres, so at the moment I'm at 22.1. This is my drum width, which is flashing, and both of these are in auto. Now, I've found with testing, putting both of these in manual uh, helped out a lot with the testing. Um, this two is for bitumen which I've just set at two and a half percent and this is for water which I've set at three percent now I keep getting low alarms for the water so I filled the tank on the stabilizer and uh, which is behind the um, front left leg I filled that tank with water just so I'd stop getting a low um, dry run alert so what the operator and I have found is that when we select these are our pump settings our uh, spray bar width settings when we push these this setting is meant to change and it doesn't so if I turn all of them off okay so on this gauge on this dial 2 is for foam bitumen if we turn it to 1 that is for water water can also be emulsion so we'll turn it to 1 now if I turn these on it'll increase all the way up to the maximum of two meters. So to make sure that it was reading correctly, I put the vehicle into maintenance mode, which is in the X1 cabinet in there using the key. And I went through the settings to see that the maximum vehicle width was two meters, which it is, because there's also a 2400 machine and wanted to make sure that it was programmed for a two meter and that it was reading that correctly. So when we go to phone bitumen, the operator is trying to preset their width and it wasn't working. So far what I've found is if I go to one and set a width of two meters, all of them selected, I get two meters here. Now if I turn it to foam bitumen, it stays at two. So go to my spray system. That's my generator, which I'm not using because I, I don't need to heat up. So number two here is my foam bitumen, which is set at 2%, which I can change with this rotary dial. That is gonna be the kilos per minute that I lay. Now that number is not gonna be correct because I'm using kerosene instead of bitumen. There's my uh, cutting depth that I'm using, uh, my scraper doors, and that's how fast I'm gonna be traveling. Now for a full flow test, you wanna set your drum depth to 300 or 30, which is the maximum. You want to set your meters per minute to at least three meters per minute and then you want to see how many kilos per minute you're actually going to lay. Now to use this in auto, I've got my drum set to 22, just a number. I've got my auto selected. I'm not selecting any jets because I don't want to put any of my precious kerosene on the ground. Okay, I'm going to turn the drum on. For the sake of testing, I've taken the solenoid out that actually engages the drum clutch because I don't need that hazard here. So, park brake off, machine's live. You have to be in one of the two turtle modes. So, turtle one, easiest. Now let's give it some RPM. 
Now, as long as I've got fluid in my pipe and I don't have a dry pipe uh, error on the um, ProMass out there, the kilos per minute that I should be reading in here should be the same as on the ProMass unit. So as I start to move forward, I'm not going to try and get as high as three. Okay, two meters per minute. Now, if everything's working, there we go, it's starting to spray. So if I had my jets open, it would be spraying 32 kilos per minute. And no water because I'm not actually using my water at the moment, just the foam bitumen. So when I return the joystick to neutral, I could hear the pump turn off and then my kilos per minute going back down to zero. So that tells me that that's all working in the automatic mode. If you were to use manual mode, straight to manual, the machine doesn't have to be moving, the pump is spraying straight away. So the fluid is coming through the metal pipe, through the system, it's going to a header tank below the tank, straight back into the pod. So it's just circulating, which is really good for cleaning it. If I adjust my rotary dial, we can make that, there you go, the percentage comes back up. 2.3, 2.4, so you'll see that number climb, 56, 58. Now that number is gonna be the same as what's on that meter outside. So that'll tell you that the two are running the same, which is always a good sign. So turn that off, turn the RPM down, make sure neutral, park brake. Now we can go, while still in the spray setting, go upper screen. We wanna come back to here. Which one is it? To here, so there's my spray width set at two meters while I'm in automatic. Now, if I play with these buttons, that spray width isn't going to adjust because I'm currently in foam bitumen. If I turn it to one, which is water or emulsion, and start turning these off, that will set the spray width, which should also be the spray width that the water system would be working on as well. So, as far as I know, that's the best it can do. So, I'll set the, the weight to 2100. That seems to be fairly standard as well. Uh, and now I'm gonna go check another machine and make sure I get the same result. So for testing, make sure the drum is on, but disconnect the solenoid because it'll be the safest way. Try and get a working depth, and I've disconnected the drum angle sensor and just set it to a height that seems to work. Make sure your internal gear. Make sure that you've actually got fluid in the pipe. So try and run on manual so that uh, when you go straight to auto, the biggest problem I was finding was that the ProMass unit was telling me I had an empty pipe, and I probably did. Now, it can also give you a error where you've exceeded the uh, maximum amount of amperage draw through the, uh, the Pro Exciter uh, coil. And apparently that is because, according to their data, that kerosene uh, isn't the correct medium to be using. So, to stop that error, what I did was outside the machine, on this particular machine where the spray bar is, there's a little ball valve and I've just slightly turned off that ball valve just a little bit, just a quarter of a tweak, just to slow down how fast the kerosene was moving through the system. Because I think the fluid was so um, viscous that uh, it was struggling to actually read the correct weight considering bitumen is a lot more, um, uh, it's, it, bitumen's a lot heavier than kerosene. So I think using kerosene uh, probably isn't the best medium to use. It's also flammable. You have to be careful when you have your generator, don't turn your generator heat on. Most of the time you will have to turn it on because you need to warm the pump up to get the pump to initially spin. So heat and kerosene may be not the best. The data that I have says to use a testing oil. I don't have any testing oil to use. We've used kerosene before. Um, it works okay, it's just got a few kinks that we need to work out. So hopefully that has helped and uh, refer to this for future use because just from what I've explained, uh, you know, it saved me a lot of time just quickly explaining all this now. So, all right, good luck, have fun.